advice on having a dangerous parent's parental rights taken away from him. The things that I need to know in that situation is what exactly do you mean by dangerous? I've heard that term used for some things that I would not necessarily consider to be dangerous, but then I've heard that used on terms where I've actually heard even lighter terms. So I'd want to know what your definition of dangerous is. Getting somebody's parental rights completely taken away in Massachusetts is very difficult. There's a difference between having someone's parental rights taken away versus having one parent have sole legal and physical custody, which some people think if I have sole legal and physical custody, that means the other person's rights have been taken away. Parental rights is a completely different, that's any rights to this child. Like basically if you get your parental rights taken away, you don't have a child anymore. You have no responsibility to that child. You have no legal rights to that child. Having sole legal and physical doesn't do that. So I'd need a little bit more information information. I guess the question that the court would likely ask is do the parental rights really need to be terminated or is it just that this parent shouldn't have anything to do with the child so maybe they have no parenting time and they don't have legal custody over that child. That I'm not sure which one where we're going there but that would be the questions that I'd ask there.